I've been making things with other people's wood my whole life. Maybe a chip off the old block. Dad built our cubby house out of scrap wood when we were kids. I've done the same with my house and the barn. Wood is the world's fundamental resource. It covers 30% of land. We cut it down to make things. And then we throw it out. I'm on my way to work to teach a panel making class. And a student emails me and says, Bo, I don't have enough money to buy wood. And I think, gee, wood's everywhere. You just have to look for it. So to prove my point, I thought I'll find enough wood to make a paddle between my train station and the office. The trick now is to be looking out for wood all over the place. Because it's everywhere. You don't want to take someone else's wood. Look at that, can't take that, that's form work, but that would have made a good paddle. Don't take it when it's still in use, Bo, that's the key. Okay, so people leave wood where other people can't see them leaving wood. So train lines and sort of back alleyways and little walking paths behind people's fences are excellent. I walk this uh, a couple of times a week and I reckon it's gonna be full of usable paddle making wood. The hardest bit, I reckon, is gonna be finding a paddle shaft. I'm not sure how much this is outdoor education, I suppose I'm outdoors and I'm educating. I don't think I should take that guy's fence. Half the learning is to be really observant. Well, this is kind of like beach combing on the way to work or train line combing. The story of stuff is fascinating. What have we here? Oh, I think, I think we have ourselves a paddle. 